If you guys wanna grow your social following, either for a brand or for your personal brand, you guys need to read these two books. For those of you that have never heard of me before, my name is Robert Benjamin. I'm a paid media expert and entrepreneur, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the two books that have been foundational to my success, growing my channels on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. For those of you that have never heard of me before, currently I have 16.2K followers on Instagram. I have like 2,400 followers on TikTok and I have 200 subscribers on YouTube. Been growing like crazy on Instagram. I've been growing about 1,000 followers a week. On TikTok, I've been growing about 1,000 followers a week. And I just launched my YouTube channel about seven days ago. So currently growing at 200 subs a week. The first book is One Million Followers by Brendan Kane. The reason that this book is so special is because he actually grew from zero to a million followers in less than 30 days and wrote this book about his whole entire process for doing so. My biggest takeaways from this book were one, how much content you actually need to be creating and testing, two, how to use paid media to accelerate your growth, and three, what message are you showing people and how do you define your target audience. Even if you guys don't go and get this book, definitely take that advice because that's been the biggest game changer for me as I've been growing my personal brand, is actually taking the time to test things, hypothesize about things. Even if it's a crazy idea that you don't think will work or you do think will work, just put it out there. doesn't matter. Nobody's going to care three months from now that the post that you put that flopped. At the end of the day, worst comes to worst, you could delete it. If it really works, then you could start to copy that and continue to do different iterations of that and continue to grow even quicker. But what happens is most of you guys just give up before you even get to that point. So f*** that. You need to approach this as a science experiment so that you're not beating yourself up and saying, oh, this didn't work. I should quit. It should be, no, this didn't work. This is what I learned. This is how we're going to move forward. The second book is Break Through the Noise by Tim Staples and Josh Young. The reason I love this book is because Tim actually co-founded the agency Shareability and they've literally worked with tons of different brands, have a ton of different videos go viral. I'm pretty sure he holds the record for having the most amount of YouTube videos that have shown up on the homepage before from working with brands. They've done everything from Super Bowl commercials, making people go viral on YouTube, making people go viral on Facebook, on Twitter, literally everything. And he breaks the whole book down into nine different pillars, which I think even knowing what the nine pillars are, I think will be a huge help for you guys. So here they are. The first pillar is be shareable. The second is understand the science. The third, focus on value. The fourth, find your voice. Fifth, crush a headline. Sixth, ride the wave. Seventh, flip the script. The eighth is know your platforms. And the ninth is test before you invest. So as you guys can see, there are a ton of different things that keep coming up, especially between the two books. One, it's going to be finding your brand voice and then also finding your audience. The second thing is making your content shareable. If you follow me on Instagram or you follow me on TikTok or even I might have said it in one of my YouTube videos if you've seen a past one, the biggest thing that you need to do if you want to grow your audience is to make your content shareable. You need people to wear your product, in which case I mean put it on their story or tag somebody in it and wear it as their own and the only way that you could ever do that is by making shareable, relatable content. That's the biggest factor that goes into this whole thing. The other biggest factor is finding your audience, finding how you're going to communicate with them and then doing that at scale. Most people go into it and think, oh, I'm going to make this content and these people are going to love it. It doesn't work like that. You need to make content, see who loves it, see how they react to it, and then do that at scale. Find more of those people. What too many of you guys are trying to do is push content that you think somebody wants to see down their throat. They don't actually want to see it. It's a lot easier if you put the content out, find your audience, and then find more of those people, as opposed to just trying to force it down somebody's throat that doesn't want to hear it at all. So there you guys have it. Those are my two book recommendations if you guys are trying to grow a following on TikTok, YouTube, any social platform. The advice that's given in these books are evergreen. It's never going to go away. It doesn't matter what platform it is. It doesn't matter if you're projecting to people, whatever the case might be, this stuff is going to work because this is all built on human psychology and it's not built on, oh, this works within this platform. So definitely give these books a read. At the very least, start to implement some of the things that I had mentioned in this video. Even start to think about them and how you can incorporate those into your own personal brand. And finally, if you guys like this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel to follow along and watch me grow to millions of followers. In addition, I really think that if you guys enjoyed this video, you'd like my video on growing on TikTok. So I'm going to link it out right here. I would really appreciate it if you guys went and checked it out.